Hello, thank you for joining with me. This is Volume 3, Manual for Teachers. And I would like to go ahead and open with a prayer. Dear God, please enable me to set aside everything I think I know for an open mind and a new experience. Amen. All right, so I'm just going to read two paragraphs a day. Um, and I'm going to start with the introduction. So thank you for joining with me. I hope this is beneficial to you. I know it will be for me. So thank you. The role of teaching and learning is actually reversed in the thinker of the world. The reversal is characteristic. It seems as if the teacher and the learner are separated. The teacher giving something to the learner rather than to himself. Further, the act of teaching is regarded as a special activity in which one engages only a relatively small proportion of one's time. The Course, on the other hand, emphasizes that to teach is to learn. And we're going to look at the footnote 1. Chapter 5, Section 5, As You Teach, So Shall You Learn. And then it gives some other references in the text. Chapter 6, Section 1, Chapter 6, Section 4. So that teacher and learner are the same. It also emphasizes that teaching is a constant process. Footnote 2. Everyone teaches and teaches all the time. That's from chapter 6, section 1, chapter 7, section 2. But you are always teaching. It goes on, back to the text, it goes on every moment of the day and continues into sleeping thoughts as well. To teach is to demonstrate. There are only two thought systems and you demonstrate that you believe one or the other is true all of the time. From your demonstrations, others learn, and so do you. The question is not whether you will teach, for in that there is no choice. The purpose of the Course might be said to provide you with a means of choosing what you want to teach on the basis of what you want to learn. You cannot give to someone else, but only to yourself. We'll go ahead and read footnote 3. The Course does teach that the purpose of miracles is to reestablish right-mindedness in someone else. Yet it also explains that this someone else is not actually separate from us. Miracles seem unnatural to the ego because it does not understand how separate minds can influence each other. Nor could they do so, but mind cannot be separate. Therefore, when we give to someone else, we are benefiting another part of ourself. In the process, we are also reinforcing the truth in our individual minds and thus benefiting ourselves, which is the main point of the above paragraph. And this you learn through teaching. Teaching is but a call to witness to attest to what you believe. It is a method of conversion. This is not done by words alone. Any situation must be to you a chance to teach others what you are and what they are to you. No more than that, but also never less. I love that. We're always teaching and we're always learning filled with gratitude for this and I feel it. I can just completely relate to this section because I'm given so much in giving. When, I mean, I just get so full of love and light. And when I behave in a loving way, when I, when I behave from love, when I teach from love, when I act from love, when I react from love, I always, um, I always get from that. I always get from that. It just feels so good. It's really cool. And I'm also, 
I'm demonstrating to others and I'm demonstrating to myself. And, you know, I used to teach catechism to fifth graders in inner city in Queens, New York. And I will tell you, that was so rewarding. And any time that I'm put in a teaching situation. And it stems from love, not ego. You know, as a manager, I can see the ego pipe up a lot. But, um, but like, when it, when, when it comes from, from love, it's just genuine and pure and clear. And then when, it's, when I'm trying to teach from the ego... It's a, uh, it's definitely a different, different experience. That is one of separation, absolutely one of separation, and not one of joining. Thank you for joining with me in the first day of reading the Manual for Teachers Introduction, paragraphs one and two, and I am reading out of the complete and annotated edition. Of A Course in Miracles. I love the footnotes, so I'm kind of stuck with this edition for a while. I hope that's okay with you. I love you. Thank you for joining.